going. Juno, hey, where are you going? Come here. How's it going? Uh, thanks, Anita. Oh, hi, Tammy. <laughs> All right, message is coming in fast. Bev from the UK, Michigan. Hi, Donna. Heaven sent. Gloria, Megan. Oh, that's great, Megan. I'm glad you like it. Whitney from Texas. Sarah. See Elaine, Joan, Mary, Fast, Ruder, Steve. What's your question, Steve? Quebec, Muriel, M Muriel. I hope I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Kelly. Bonjour de France. Cool. Lucy from Montreal. Oh, that's great. Elisabetta. That's an interesting name. Belgian. A Belgian from Quebec. Alaska. Holy. Hi, Colleen. Wisconsin. Uh, Cheryl, the big blue Dutch pour. I did not do any more yet. I will probably do another circle soon. Uh, maybe blues and purples. Uh, Ken, wondering if you had, if you add anything to the deco art. Yeah, I add the Floetrol and water mix, just like I mix all my other paints. Uh, video number 63. Oh, hi, Petra. How are ya? Cool. Petra's in the house. Petra does some really cool resin art, and so does Tammy. So check them both out. Holy cow, these messages are flying fast. Where are we at? What's the matter? You can talk. What do you need? You're hungry. What would you like to eat? Something healthy. Okay. Sophia's hungry. Where's Juno? Outside. Outside? Okay. Uh, fast rooter Steve. Uh, don't use silicone. I don't use silicone. If you check out my video number 63, I mix my paints with just paint, Floetrol, and water, and I get cells all the time. I do not use silicone. Get rid of the silicone. Um, silicone is horrible stuff. In my opinion, I know other artists use silicone. Um, I don't like silicone. I never use it. I never will use it. Um, try my mixing ratio and see if you get better results. Let's see, DL Tyler, hello. Uh, had a problem with Liquitex varnish, left a white coating on all my paintings. Really? That stuff is supposed to dry clear. Um, have you checked out my video number 130? It's a tutorial on how I use the Liquitex gloss varnish, so Check that out. It's open. It's open. It's open. You spilled it. Can you, um, hold on. My daughter just spilled fruit juice all over the floor.
Sorry about that. My daughter dropped one of those fruit cups all over the kitchen floor and I had to go clean it up before Juno decided to lick it all up. <laughs> all right, where was I? I'm behind now on messages. I sold my first piece. Oh, congrats, Wade. That's awesome. Crystal from Vancouver. Donna. Let's see, Wash, uh, Wyoming, Elaine, how do you decide if you're going to resin a piece or varnish it? Um, if I am working on canvases, I typically varnish them. I usually resin my wood rounds or tiles. Let's see, I'm far behind. These questions are coming in fast. Uh, Mina, will glue give cells? Not particularly. I haven't used it. I used to use it way back in the day. I think you need silicone in there. Um, I don't know because I don't use glue, so I, I can't really say for sure, but I'm gonna think that's a no. Uh, let's see. Will I be doing more coaster videos? Um, yeah, maybe. I haven't really put much thought into it. Uh, where are we at? I'm way behind multitasking. Holy smokes. There's a lot of messages here. Okay, I'm just gonna go down to the bottom. Do you gesso your canvases? No, I don't because they already come pre-gessoed um, when I buy them at Michael's. So all my canvases from Michael's already have gesso on them. So I do not need to gesso them. Um, just put resin on my first tiles got craters. Becky, are you using uh, silicone on those? Because if you are, that would be why. Uh, you would have to really clean, sand it down, clean it really, really well, and uh, apply another coat. Let's see. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, if you guys can all like the video, that would be really helpful. Um, do I use Amsterdam paints? I do. Um, I have a few, maybe four or five different colors of Amsterdam. Um, yes, they are expensive and I actually still mix them with my paint water flow trial mix. Thanks for answering, Tammy. Yes, any canvas that is white or black is gessoed. Thank you. Um, how do you get the varnish to crack intentionally? I couldn't tell you. I'm not really sure about that. I don't know why you would want to crack it intentionally. Um, what brand paints do I prefer, Donna? I have Artist Loft. I have Liquitex Basics. I have some Amsterdam Pebeo. I love Pebeo, the iridescence. Um, those are awesome paints as well. Can you resin over a varnish tile? Um, I don't see why not. I've never done it. So I can't really answer a question if I haven't done it myself. Um, let's see, do, have I ever used polycrylic instead of resin? I did do, um, polycrylic on a canvas once and I hated it. I didn't like the way it looked. Um, I sticked, so I didn't do it again and I just stuck to the, um, Liquitex gloss varnish. Hello, Jennifer. Thanks, Tammy. Another question answered. Um, let's see. So I wanted to um, show you guys some of the stuff I have left over from my canisters, my trinket boxes. I still have, the calendars are sold out, but don't worry, I ordered more. Um, there are more on the way. So I just wanted to show you guys some of that stuff. Um... Let's see, why am I not getting any lacing? Following your formula, seems like the cell activator is really thick. 
Connie, are you talking about the bloom technique? What, um, what technique are you talking about? Oh, that's great, Joan. Congratulations on the sale of your piece. That is a big piece. Good for you. Um, Arteza, yes, I am now going to be working with some Arteza paints in some upcoming videos. I do have um, new Arteza paints, so I'll be doing that. And I have an Arteza code as well for those of you who want to buy the paints and save uh, some money. The code is in the description below. Oh, thanks for answering that, Petra. I did not know that. So there you go. You can crack varnish by adding heat to it. It will dry faster than normal and then it will crack. So there you go. Thanks, Petra. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, no, they don't ship to Canada. I know it's horrible. I'm sorry, guys. It, Arteza does not ship to Canada. Um, I don't know if you can find them on Amazon. I'm pretty sure someone told me that you could buy Arteza off Amazon.ca, but I have not checked that. But maybe check it. Yes, there are a bunch of artists in here. Petra's in here. Tammy's in here. Let's see if I missed anyone. Uh, Cheryl, thank you for doing a live on your day off. Well, it is Sunday, so yes, it's technically my day off. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, okay, so freeze for one second. So Cheryl just reminded me to mention something to you guys. So hold on a sec. Stop, stop the comments. Just give it a sec. So... I have some news. I have good news and bad news, okay? So, um, I'll start with the bad news, okay? So the bad news is I lost my job. <laughs> so I don't have a job at the moment. Um, so the good news is though, I have more free time to paint now during the day and to work on my art and to answer questions and do more commission pieces. So until I find a new job, um, I'll be working on my art 24 seven. So yes, it sucks. I did lose my job. Um, for those of you who are longtime watchers and uh, know that I had quit my job of seven years as an accounting clerk at a, at a law firm, I quit my job to go work for a good friend of mine and uh, never work with family and friends. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not gonna dive into, you know, the nitty gritties or anything like that. So, but it is what it is. And I'm currently looking for a new job. So, hey man, if anyone in my area knows anyone that's hiring, <laughs> you know, give me a shout out. But uh, yeah, so I, on the bright side, I have more time for Juno, more time for the kids. I take the kids to school now. I pick them up from school. I spend more time with the kids and I'm home all day. So that also gives me more time to do more art. So look, I look forward to, you know, doing a lot more art, a lot more videos, uh, you know, all that. Yeah, I did have to drive really far. So, you know, I'll be saving a lot of money on gas, a lot of money on the toll routes. I'll be saving a lot of money that way. So wear and tear on my car, all that stuff. So it sucks. I wasn't expecting it, but such is life, right? I guess everything happens for a reason, right? But so yeah, that uh, that's done. And now I'll just concentrate on art until I can find a new job. So that is my news. So I'll have more time for you guys. And so that being said, I'm gonna show you guys um, some stuff now, okay? So we might as well just get to that. If you have a question, um, maybe type it in capital letters, that way it'll stand out more and I'll maybe I'll catch it and I'll be able to answer the question. Um, so I have a few canisters left over from um, when I originally did them. So I have these, this is a set. It is like a turquoisey blue color, okay? So there's this set of canisters. They are um, 25 a piece or 50 for two. Um, there's that. And then I have 
um, and they're metal, right? So, and then I have green. Um, thanks everyone for being so kind. That's very thoughtful of everyone. So now, so these are green. So these are my two metal green ones. All right. So those are, those are that. Um, Joanna, how much do you, how do you know how to much, how much to charge for your artwork? Um, it varies. It depends on like, I mean, I, I had this question before in the last live I did. Um, if you're just starting out and you're just learning, you can't charge, well, you can charge whatever you want, but should you charge what I charge or what other artists who have a higher following, who have been doing it for a year or two, should you be charging the same? No. What you need to put into consideration is how much money you spent on the materials, how much time you spent on them, what did you finish it off with, varnish, resin, whatever, and then you just gotta determine what you wanna sell it for. There's no right or wrong of how much you sell um, a piece of art for, so it's really up to you. I cannot answer that question um, because everybody's different, right? Thanks, Colleen. I really hope I bounce back and get another job because I don't know how much I can sit at home forever, so. <laughs> <laughs> so okay so glass jars so these are glass jars with stainless steel lids so I have this one available that is the orange and yellow and some dioxazine purple in there um, my pinks and purples have sold um, in the canisters Megan so I have these ones these are with the uh, there's a blue cell activator in that one so that's a set and these are um, $70 Canadian for the set plus shipping. And then I have blue with white cell activator. All right, so there's those. Okay. Yeah, thanks DL Tyler, please hit that like button. Yeah, I'm going to do ornaments closer to Christmas. Um, I don't think there's a point in doing ornaments now. It's I don't know what you would do with them. And then I have these ones. So they are yellow, orange, and I think a little bit, no, just yellow and orange, I think. So those are what I have in terms of canisters. That's all I have left. I don't think I'll be doing any more um, right now. I will see. Um, thank you. Thank you, Sally. All right, so that is for the canisters. Uh, Terry, could my hair dryer be not strong enough to move my thin paint or is it just me? Um, are you mixing according to my ratios? I don't like, I mean, your thinness could be completely different than what I consider thin. So if your blow dryer is not moving your paint, then um, maybe make it a little thinner. Okay, so trinket boxes. I have this, these little guys here. Okay, so... There is a blue purple one. I, I do not prime the lids. I just pour right on them. Same with the boxes. I do not prime anything. I just pour right on top of the boxes. Uh, and then there's a half blue, half purple one. So these are just little guys. I guess you could put like little jewelry uh, in them. They have been sanded and they have two coats of polycrylic uh, on them. So that's that. Let's see, and then I have this little square one here. All right. Oh, thanks, Tamara. Third ask. Oh, I see you, Catherine. Are your calendars in your Etsy shop? No, they are not. And um, I don't think I'm gonna put them in right now because um, they're selling faster than I can put them up on Etsy. And if I can sell them via email and sell them via private message, I would rather do that because Etsy takes a cut out of every sale I make and I would rather not have Etsy take a cut out of my sales. So if I can sell these things without having to throw them on Etsy, I will do it that way. Um, so if you want a calendar, if you want a canister, if you want a trinket, I have my prints. I will show you guys my prints. You can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. 
okay? Or you can send me a private message on Instagram or on Facebook, okay? Just search Canelo Soraco Art. So I will not be putting them up on Etsy because I'm having no issues selling them right now. Um, so I've already sold out of my first batch. I've ordered a second batch. It's on the way within about a week. So if you want a calendar, just email me. Payment is done via PayPal only, unless you're in Canada and you want to email transfer. Other than that, if you're outside of Canada, PayPal is the only way I accept payment, okay? Um, do you still only use art resin? Yes, Anita, all I use is art resin. What video number for cell activator? Terry, check out video number 131 for a full tutorial on the bloom technique, okay? And that's where you'll see the cell activator. Okay, so next I have a bigger square. Okay, so that is pinks and purples. So that is a bigger square. I think it's, um, I don't know, four or five inches, something like that. Okay, Catherine in Canada, cool. Okay, and then I have this one. It's like a turquoise blue and purple. Yep, Bloom Technique, check out video number 131. It's a very long, like, hour tutorial, but you need to check it out and you need to watch the whole thing if you want to really learn how to do it. All right, then we have some purple here and uh, greens and lime green. All right, is there a video showing how thin your Dutch pour paint? Emily, check out video number 63. It's a video on how I mix my paints. If you follow that recipe exactly to a T, then you'll know how thin my paints should be. Okay, let's see. And then I have this big one. This is a big one. And this one is blue with a smidge of purple over here. If you are in the US, I hear KS resin is a very good resin to use. I know a lot of artists use KS resin. Uh, I wish I could use KS resin, but they will not ship to Canada. So I'm SOL on that. So there's no, I cannot use KS resin um, in Canada, but if you are in the US, check it out because uh, I hear good things about it. And my last trinket box is a pink and blue, which is kind of like a match to this one, little mini guy, but um, there's another big box, okay? So those are my trinket boxes. I will grab, oh, without knocking things over. All right, where are we at? Um, thanks Lauren. I really, really try my best to answer everybody, whether it's via email, you know, now that I have more time on my hands cause I don't have a job, um, you know, I'll be able to answer more questions. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. When am I coming to a to LA and how do I sign up? I don't know if that question's for me, Paula, because I'm not coming to LA. <laughs> um, can I use glue all in place of school glue for the bloom recipe? Um, I think so. Uh, I don't know because I've never used it and my glue isn't glue all. Where are you going? Hold on. I'm gonna get some bottles. Oh, okay. Um, kids. <laughs> um, my glue is just Amazon glue off Amazon. It's not school glue. It's not, you know, glue all it's just glue off Amazon, right? So, oh, DL Tyler, what's going on? Are people getting angry because I'm not being able to see everybody's questions? I'm only one person guys. I can only like, I mean, I'm looking at the screen and the, and the comments are going like this. Okay. Like that's how fast the comments are going. So I can't read that fast. So you guys gotta bear with me, okay? So don't get mad, all right? Do you need to use heat resistant resin for coasters? Your resin has to be within a certain, like I mean there's cheaper resins where the, you know, the heat resistance is only like two or 300 degrees. Then there's the more higher ones that are like 400. So the higher, the better, okay? If you use a low one, then the resin and the hot coffee cup don't mix well. Um, okay, where are we at? I need to take a break. <laughs> um, 
What kind of tape do you use to protect the sides of your boxes? Um, just green tape and I buy it from the dollar store. So green painters tape and I don't buy expensive 3M tape or anything like that. I buy green tape from the dollar store and it works perfectly fine. I've never had an issue with it, you know, the resin or anything bleeding or the paint bleeding under it. Never had an issue. Um, okay, so calendars. Um, as I mentioned, I have sold out. I just sold out of them this morning, but I have made uh, another order. So I'll be getting new calendars in in about a week. So if you still want a calendar, you can still buy one. You can still pre-order, pay, and then when I get them, you'll get your calendar. So if you're interested in a calendar, they are $40 Canadian. And if you are in the U.S., shipping is about um, $15, okay? So your total would be $55 Canadian. So once you convert that to U.S., it's, you know, cheaper. It's like 30-something, I believe, I think. What is your favorite size canvas for a Dutch pour? Um, the bigger, the better for me. Um, I find when I work on smaller canvases now, um, I, it's harder for me to blow the paints around. Um, I like working on big canvases, but I've also been doing it for over a year. If you are just starting out, I do not suggest you starting on a big 20 by 20 canvas. Start small and work your way up. That's what I did. All right. Uh, thanks, Lorraine. Okay, let's read some questions here. Um, Tina, if you're talking about shipping to the U.S. for the calendars, they're 15 bucks. 15 bucks for shipping. Um, what is my fox's baby cakes? You might be onto something. What is she onto? Did I, I missed her comment, so I don't know what she said. How do I get bubbles? You mean, okay, so Michelle, how do I get cells without using silicone? It's the Floetrol in water. The mixture of that is what creates cells. So you don't need silicone for cells, okay? You don't need that stuff. Uh, bye, Catherine. See you later, Catherine. Thanks for popping in. So I'll show you some, not all, because it's got to stay a surprise, but I will show you some of my calendar. Um, so this is a mid-year calendar. It starts in July of 2020 and goes to June of 2021. And you'll see I have my little logo down here at the bottom and it's on every single page. So I will show you one or two, not all, because I got to leave something a surprise. I'll show you September because it's my birth month. So that is September and fitting because it's Sapphire for September. So that is September. So if you want a calendar, you know, email me. Bye, Tammy. Thanks for popping in and answering a few questions. Take care, sweetheart. I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you later for sure. All right. So, all right. So Petra's still in the house. Hello, Pam. Pam is here. Okay. So yeah, if, uh, if you want a calendar, I'll show you one more day. I'll show you one more month, I mean, and I'll show you why it's special to me. So here's February. So that is February. And look who makes a surprise appearance, Juno. <laughs> so I put Juno's birthday in there. So his birthday's February 26th. So he just turned one actually a couple weeks ago. So that's it. I'm not gonna show you guys any more of what's in the calendar. If you want a calendar, um, email me and pre-order today because they sell out pretty quickly. Okay. So that is the calendar. Let's get back to some questions here. Um, my Fox's baby cakes. Not everybody's flow trawl is the same. Like, I mean, the U S and Canada, we have flood flow trawl. I know in Europe, you guys have, I think it's called Oa trawl or something like that. And then there's the Australian flow trawl. So they're different. They're not the same thing. So if you're using the OA trawl or the Australian flow trawl or whatever it's called out there, um, it's not the same. So I can't really help you with that because I don't know what the consistency is of that flow trawl compared to the flood flow trawl we use here in Canada and the US. Um, 
Do I sign my artwork or your painting and where? I do. I sign everything um, with the exception of my coasters because I can't sign the cork. It uh, The ink will leaves... Um, so here, I'll, I'll show you on the back of the ca uh, calendars, I do write a little thank you, I sign it. Um, for my canisters, I will sign the bottom, or I will sign um, the inside of the lid on the canisters, and on the trinket boxes, I sign the bottom of the boxes. Everything I send out has a signature on it with the exception of my coasters because I've tried signing those and the ink just smudges and then it just ruins the cork on the back. So, um, but I do sign everything else and I use a Sharpie to do it. That's it. Okay, so I sign it, I stamp it because I have a special rubber stamp and then I sign and I date it. I put the year, okay? Um, where are we at? Um, what kind of tape do I use to protect the boxes? Again, I just use green tape from the dollar store. Um, it works perfectly fine for me. I do not spend money on like the expensive 3M brand tapes or anything like that. Okay, that's good to know, Colleen. So Colleen is from Paris and she uses the Oatrol and she uses my pouring mixture and it seems to work fine for her. Okay, so I'm gonna move along here. And um, where are we at? Half hour. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some of my prints. So these are uh, 11 by 14 inches. And this is my um, diptych from my series of complementary colors. So I have two sizes available. I have 11 by 14s, and then I have them in nine by 12s, okay? So if you're interested in any of the following prints, please take note and then email me and let me know what you're interested in. Uh, shipping for these is anywhere between like 12 and $15. So inexpensive for shipping because they're not as big, heavy and bulky as canvases. Okay, so they're very rich and very vibrant. All right, so I have that. I have one of my other diptychs, which is with the purple and the magenta and the gold. So I have this print available as well in both sizes, 11 by 14 with nine by 12s as well. Are you self-taught or did you start with taking classes? Becky, everything I learned, I learned on my own. Everything I learned, I learned through other YouTube tutorials from other artists who were kind enough to put their videos up on YouTube. I literally spent weeks and months and hours and hours watching tutorial after tutorial and that's how i learned nobody taught me any of this nobody helped me with any of this i literally sat and did my homework and i learned on my own okay so you know i thought i heard my kids screaming so yeah just you know watch tutorials right how do you have your prints made um Kathy, I take a picture of my canvas with my iPhone and I send it off. I have a printing guy who owns a printing company. He's a good friend of mine. Um, I used to work with him at my old job. Um, so I get him to do my prints for me. All right. So here I have um, my blue triptych Dutch pour. Now here's the thing. I have two versions of this. I have a version where the background has a blue hue to it and then I have a version which I seem to have misplaced no here it is so there's two versions one with a white background and then one with um the blue hue so there's two versions I thought it was a little cool to make it blue since this is blue so I have this it's a triptych it is my big blue triptych so Ow, I just hit myself in the nose. So there's the triptych again, but with the white background. So if you're interested in any of these, let me know. 
Um, thanks, Emily. Yes, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, so, and then the last print I have is, um, here, this way. My turquoise uh, and phthalo blue and gold. So that is another diptych. So I have this in 11 by 14 as well as um, 9 by 12. I love the gold. That's the 24 karat gold. Okay. So those are some of the Dutch pour prints. All right. Canela, approximate shipping for canisters to the US. Um, they're about 20 bucks. It depends where in the US, but um, if you're really interested, shoot me an email and I can give you an exact quote if you provide me your full mailing address and I can give you an exact quote, but you're looking at about maybe 20 bucks. So yeah, email me if you're interested. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Terry, what is my favorite brand of paint to use? Um, I like them all. I use Artist Loft mainly, um, Liquitex Basics and the Pebeo Studio Acrylics, the iridescents. I love those paints. I have some Amsterdam paints. Um, so those are the main paints I use and I like them all. So I don't have a, a favorite. Each brand has a different color that another brand might not have. So I like Amsterdam has some really cool colors that Artist Loft and Liquitex Basics doesn't have. So I have a little bit of everything. Why is Juno crying? Dottie, um, my favorite medium, I just use Floetrol. I don't use anything else. Um, I've tried using um, Liquitex pouring medium. I didn't like it. Um, everything works um, with Floetrol for me. So that's what I use. Thank you for all your recipes, uh, especially the bloom. Any tips for first time to uh, bloom pour? Um, if you checked out my video 131 and then there's a video one, number 132 where I show you guys how I do some of the blooms. Like, I mean, check those videos out. There's no real tips I can give you other than what I actually put in the video for you guys to watch. Uh, Juno is outside on the back deck, so I'll bring him in in a bit. Where do I buy the varnish? I get it from Michael's. How long did it take you to get your following? Um, I started a, almost exactly a year ago and I'm at, what, 66,000 followers, but that doesn't mean anything. I know there are people who have been on YouTube a lot longer than me and have 5,000 or 10,000 or only 20,000. It really just depends on your art, your videos. It's, it's just depends on if people like what you're doing. I also post all over social media, Instagram, I'm on TikTok, I'm on um, Pinterest and Facebook. I literally throw everything out there on all of those. It's like a full-time job, guys. Um, you've got to put yourself out there and all that social media to bring everybody to your YouTube channel. Okay. So you need to work hard on that. It doesn't just come handed to you on a silver platter, okay? Um, whoa, questions flying fast. Where do I get the Pebeo brand paint? Um, some Michaels sells them here in Canada, some do not. The Michaels where I live does not sell it. Um, the Michaels where my mother lives an hour away from me sells it. So whenever I need Pebeo brands, I have to go down to my mom's, which is fine because we go down and visit often and I get the paints from there. You can also buy them online. I know you can buy some off Amazon as well. Um, let's see, where are we at? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys um, some more of my prints. So you guys saw my Dutch pour um, prints that come in 11 by 14 and um, 9 by 12. And now I'm going to show you guys my bloom prints um, that come in a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 square. But I'm going to start with now if you guys saw my um, massive 20 by 20 round blue Dutch pour um, that sold 
so fast after I released the video on YouTube. I had about 10 people after that want the exact same piece. I can only make one. I'll make more, but it's not gonna be the same. However, I did get a picture of it and I have a print of it. So if you really, really love the piece, um, I do have a print of it. So I have it in a 12 by 12 and in a 10 by 10 print. So if you're interested in a print of the Blue Circle Dutch Pour, I do have um, limited quantities. So if you want one, don't delay, okay? Let's see, what questions have I missed? Bye, Eve. Let's see. Uh, okay, so now I'll show you guys some of my green prints. So these are all different. So if you wanted to do like a triptych of the greens, I have three different designs, okay? So there's three different designs here. And again, these are all um, 12 by 12 inch or I have them in um, 10 by 10 inch as well. So if you want all three or two or one, you know, let me know. The 12 by 12s are um, $40 for the print and the 10 by 10s are 35 for the print. Um, Canela, my opinion on milk paint. I don't have an opinion because I've never used it. Um, I can't give an opinion on something I've never used. So I'm sorry, I cannot answer your question on that. Okay. Um, okay, so next I have um, pinks and um, what's it called? Uh, magenta. Pink, magentas, and some purple. And again, I have different versions. I have, I think there's four of this, four different kinds of prints. All right, so if you want any pink prints in the, like a diptych or a triptych or a quadriptych, you can get pinks. Okay, and then I have, let's see. So then I have um, this blue one, kind of looks like the ocean to me. Um, so this is just a solid blue with um, lacing in it. And then I have this blue one, with this one's really cool as well. I like that one. So again, these come in 12 by 12 or 10 by 10. This one is turquoise with um, some purple. And actually, this is a picture from this. So as you can see, this is where I got that picture from. So now you see how I get my pictures. I literally took a picture of this um, before it was resined and I made a print out of it. So that is how I got my pictures. Price for the Circle Dutch Pour, Tina, if you are referring to the print, the 12 by 12 is $40, and if you want a 10 by 10, it's $35 Canadian plus shipping. Um, mention magnets with skins, how is there a video? Yes, I do have a video, Joanne. I have no idea what video number it is. You're just gonna have to look through all my videos. You'll see the thumbnail. It'll be round little button circles. Um, and it'll say magnet. So just look for the thumbnail and the title and you'll find it. I don't know what number it is, sorry. Um, bye, Colleen. Okay, so, oh yeah, lightning strike. That's pretty cool, actually. You're right, Sherry. That blue one does remind me of a lightning strike. So then I have this one, which is the orange and yellows, which is kind of neat. And it's got some of uh, the dioxazine purple in there. Oh, thanks, Karen. Yeah, magnets are video number 125. You're the best. Thanks, Karen. So there's that one. And then this one, um, I had a bunch. This is the last one I have. I already sold all the other ones, and I have one left on this one. So this one was um, a very popular print, and uh, I sold all of them, and this is the last one I have left. Okay. And then this one. So gold and greens. Okay. Okay. And this is purples and uh, blues. All right, uh, let's see. And then I have yellow and orange. And yellow, orange, and dioxazine purple again, which is 
from my canister. So this is where I got this print from. I got it from the canister. That is where that print came about. All right, uh, just a few left. So we have this print with some pinks and blues. Uh, this one here. And then the last two are kind of like a set if you want. So it's kind of got like turquoise, pink, and some phthalo blue in there, okay? So those are my prints, guys. If you're interested in any of those prints, just email me. They're not going up on Etsy. The calendars are not going up on Etsy. If you want them, just email me and we can discuss all that. Shipping, like I said, is around 12 to 15 bucks or 16, depending on if you want a calendar and some prints together, you know, just email me, okay? Um, where are we at? Have you ever thought about selling your prints in Fine Art America? I have no idea what Fine Art America is. Um, what kind of paint did you start with as a beginner? Um, Beverly, um, don't start with cheap dollar store paint. Don't start with, you know, craft paint, like craft smart or like the cheap, that kind of stuff. If you want good results, you must get good paint, okay? So the cheapest paint in my Michaels is Artist Loft, and that is good paint for the pouring, for Dutch pours and all that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, if you want good results, you can't go to the dollar store and buy acrylic paint from the dollar store and expect great results. It's not going to happen. So you need to invest some money into this form of art if you want good results, okay? Otherwise, you're just wasting money. All right. Dioxazine purple is one of my favorite colors. How do you decide what to sell your work for? Oh, Sheila, I've already answered this question um, earlier in this video, and I've also answered it in my previous live. So I'm not going to go through that again. Um, just when this is over, go back to the beginning of the video and um, you will hear how I answer that question. Um, Kristen, my canisters, these glass ones, I purchased them from, um, Kitchen Stuff Plus. Okay. Let's see. Art Minds Paint. Uh, no, I don't, I haven't tried Art Minds because I have no idea what it is and where to buy it. All right. Okay. Where are we at now? Trying to see if I missed any questions up above. Let's see. Just scrolling up here and checking to see if I missed any, any questions. Do you have a plan when you start a project or does the magic just happen? Um, Tina, so like, I mean, I go down to the basement and I have an idea of what kind of canvas I'm going to use and what kind of color scheme I'm going to come up with. But other than that, everything just pretty much happens as I'm going along. Um, you know, I'll decide, Hey, I'm going to do blues today. What color blues I don't decide on until I'm literally down in the basement looking at all my blues. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to pick this, this, and this. I never plan ahead. Um, it, it, just doesn't work so I don't do that and I see my neighbor walking up my front door <laughs> this should be interesting all right let's see where are we at now have I tried putting canvases on a come in <laughs> hey what's up oh that's okay <laughs> she's like oh sorry what's up what you got oh nice perfect thanks um, where was I? I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, bye. Alrighty. Where was I? She was just returning some stuff that I let her borrow. Um, what is going on with 
Hiromi. Why? Okay. We're going to have to just... Um... Okay. Let me... I'm, I kind of got a little distracted here now. Okay, um, clearly there's something going on with this Hiromi person. So Hiromi has been put on timeout. Sorry, <laughs> that's done. So this is what happens when you don't have moderators, right? I gotta, I gotta see what's going on. So, hello, Krista, jumping in late from Montreal. Sweet fellow Canadian. Um, do I have a color palette, or do I go uh, to intuition for choice? I just pick whatever comes to mind. I do not have a plan. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, sorry, DL Tyler. I had no idea what was going on with the, this Hiromi person. So they are now gone. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Where do I purchase my wood rounds, Kathy? Um, I have a fellow woodworker. Um, he's a carpenter, lives in my area. So um, if you are in the US though, uh, I do have a friend, her name is Karen. You can check her out uh, on Facebook. Her name is, uh, the Facebook page is Carolina Foothills Wood Art. Um, and you can find her on Facebook, tell her Canela sent you and she does all kinds of wood stuff. So if you're in the U S and you're looking for wood rounds or looking for, you know, a cutout of a turtle or a horse or a unicorn, she can make all that stuff. She's really awesome. So check her out. Her name is Karen and it's Carolina Foothills wood art. Uh, Emily, I moderate for a New York cop duty Ron, throw me a wrench if you want. Done. Thank you, Emily. Okay. Do I ever see images in my paintings? All the time. It could be a face. It could be a bird. I do. I see it. And when I don't see it, I have my viewers and say, hey, did you see that? And then I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, I see it now. So yeah, I totally, totally see images in my paints. Where are we at? 53 minutes. I'm going to wrap this up in about 10 minutes. Um, what's the wrench? Terry, the wrench I have added Emily as a moderator. So she now has the power to delete any trolls or delete any bad words or any bad comments from this chat. So that is what the wrench is for. Um, you're welcome, Roland. I really try hard to see everybody's questions. I, like, I mean, they're flying by. I'm trying to read everything, but I know I've missed a ton of questions, guys. Um, when Melanie, when you resin, do you do multiple coats? Um, no, I do one coat. The only time I will ever add a second coat is if there's an imperfection in the resin. Let's say one of Juno's hairs landed in it or like a bug or something. Um, then you will have to sand it down and add a second coat. Otherwise, I only gets one coat. You do not need multiple coats unless you're doing um, a resin media piece. Like if you're doing something with resin and it needs multiple layers for a 3D effect or an ocean effect or anything like that, then yes, you need multiple coats. But if you're just doing resin as like a top layer, as a top coat, one coat is more than enough. You do not need any more than one coat. Uh, oh, thank you, Jude. Yes, um, you know what, DL Tyler, you have been so awesome that you are now crowned moderator. So there you go. Thank you so much. You have been awesome from the second I went live. So thank you for your help, DL. And I've added you as a moderator now. So I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, Lisa, do I combine transparent and opaque paints? Yes, I do. And to be quite honest with you, I never pay attention to... 
um, you know, oh, this, this tube of paint is opaque and this one's transparent. I never look at that stuff. I'm sure I should. I'm sure there, there's a reason and you know how paint works and all that stuff, but I never ever look at that. I literally say, oh, I like dioxazine purple and I think it'll look good with this turquoise and I put them together. I never bother to look at the bottle and be like, well, this is opaque and this is semi-opaque and this is transparent. I don't even look at that stuff. I pick the colors I like and I go for it. That's it. So there we go. Juno keepsake. Yeah, you know, I had a piece where I, it was a swipe and I put a coat of resin on it and the next morning when I went down to check on it there was a huge Juno hair in it and I was like oh man so I contacted the client who happened to be in UK and I said hey look you know one of Juno's hairs landed in it it's going to take a little longer for me to send it to you I need to sand it and put another coat on it and you know what she said she said no leave it she goes I want Juno's hair in it and I was like oh. I was like, really? And she's like, no, I want a piece of him in my piece. And I'm like, well, that's very sweet. So I shipped it off just like that with a big Juno hair in it. And she loved it. So, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So she was really, really happy about that. Um, all right. Yes, please be so kind as to hit the like button. That would be really great. Um, let's see. So yeah, I'm going to be available more often. I'm going to likely be doing some more lives along the way, probably during the day when the kids aren't home and there's no distractions because, um, you know, I have more time on my hands now that I don't have a job. So I'll be spending more time, uh, doing art for now until I can find a new job. What are a few colors that I would never use together in the same pour? I tend to stick, uh, stay away from red. Red will muddy up a lot of colors. Um, so I don't use red in a lot of my pours. Um, and I don't ever use browns or anything like that. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not my color that I like to use. Um, Canela, if you're an accountant, do you use QuickBooks? Um, I have never, we do use QuickBooks here in Canada. Um, I personally myself have not used QuickBooks. I have used other accounting software. Um, QuickBooks is not one of them. I have used Sage Simply Accounting and some other ones like PC Law, um, but I have not used QuickBooks. Um, okay, so where are we at? Whoa, they're going fast. Where do you find the thumbs up in a live chat? Um, it's should be under the video. Um, I'm not really sure. I can see it on my screen, but I can't see it on the phone. Um, if you can't see it now, just hit like after, I guess. Uh, all right. Where are we? Have I ever used interference paints? Um, I have not, but I'm going to be doing one soon because I have the interference paints from Color Art. Leslie sent me interference paints. So I will be using those um, shortly in uh, some upcoming videos. Um, I just now that I have the time, I will make time to make all these videos using Arteza, Color Art, all that stuff. So um, I will be using interference paints soon. Yeah, Dawn. Um, I'm not going to discuss why I'm not working anymore. It, uh, it wasn't my choice. I'll tell you that. Um, it just didn't work out. And, uh, unfortunately I was let go. So yeah, that happened last week. So I'm currently not working. So I'm looking for a new job, um, but not working at the moment. Do I have an Amazon wish list? Um, Tina, I have an Amazon shop with all the supplies I use. I don't have a wish list though. Um, Tanya, have your kids picked up your talent and want to carry your legacy? Um, Sophia couldn't care less. <laughs> she doesn't really care much. Lucas loves helping whenever he can and he likes to paint with me. Um, so who knows, maybe he might get the painting bug, but Sophia has, uh, no interest. Um, recommendation for colors to go with red, orange, 
I've done, um, here I'll show you. So I've done some orange and red and some dioxazine purple. Um, actually, no, this is orange and yellow. And I think there's a little bit of red in here um, with orange as well. And then yellow and dioxazine purple. I honestly would not, like, I mean, for me, I can't think of another color to mix with red. Like, I mean, I did the red green pour. Uh, I don't have that picture here, do I? Uh, no. Oh, wait, let me see. Sorry. Oh, I just hit the chair. Um, I did a red and green. I totally just destroyed the back of the wall. Oops. All right. Turquoise looks good. Oh, I didn't show you guys these. So there's my pink diptych or triptych. So I have this. Okay. Um, I did, um, red and green. Here we go. Red and green. So that is my other complimentary color, Dutch pour, where I did the red and green. So the red and green, uh, red and gold also looks really good. Um, let's see. Yeah. So let's see. Oh, I have more here. I didn't show you guys these. Here's my yellow diptych. All right. So again, prints. These are um, 9 by 12. And my other complimentary diptych, which is the orange and blues. So orange and blues. Um, my V-shaped diptych as well. Have a print of that. And then um, this is a close-up of one of my canvases using the primary elements um, pigments. So... These are just close-ups of it. So these are prints as well, okay? So yes, you can do red with gold and yellow. That would look good. Hi, darling. Hi. What you doing? Just gonna go and get some hockey sticks. Hockey sticks, okay. Uh, let's see, pillow paint, white or no tint? Um, pillow paint uh, I is untinted. Uh, my pillow paint is not tinted when I pick it up off the shelf and I leave it like that. Have I always used just Floetrol and water with my paints? Yes, I do not use anything else. Paint, Floetrol, water. That's it. Nothing else. No other pouring medium. Nothing else. Unless I'm doing the bloom technique, which is a completely different, you know, bunch of materials and stuff like that. So, um, yes, just paint, flow, trawl, and water. All my canvases are from Michaels. Uh, I buy all my canvases from Michaels. Uh, thank you, Melanie. It, I thought it'd be muddy too. I was really worried about the red and the green together, but it turned out awesome. Um, I have it in prints and I still have the canvases available for purchase. Terry, what is pillow paint? That is... Um, part of the bloom technique check out video number 131 for a full tutorial on the bloom technique Okay, do not confuse pillow paints with my Dutch pour mixes or anything like that. Okay And let's see Slamming doors slamming garage doors slamming front doors gotta love kids, eh? All right Let's see. Okay. What was my inspiration or who was my inspiration to start painting? Joe Mo. Um, my sister-in-law actually taught me how to do the flip cup pours and I started with her and she taught me all of that stuff. Now my sister-in-law is an actual portrait artist. She does oil paintings and she taught me how to do the flip cup pours with the silicone and all that stuff way, way back in the day. And, um, I ended up not liking it. I hated that technique. I hated the silicone. I hated all the work that came with having to clean the silicone off. And so I um, started watching a bunch of YouTube videos 
and um, a few of the ones I started watching right off the bat were um, Renska and Molly and Tammy Anderson and um, when I was learning about um, resin I watched Tammy Anderson for resin um, Monica Barnes she was also very good with resin and Petra I watched a lot of Petra's videos as well um, so Petra was really good is really good with resin so when I started watching all of those I got into the whole Dutch pour and the rest is history like I've been nothing but Dutch pour ever since I love the Dutch pour it works well for me so that is how I got to where I am now. Uh, Rinska is from the Netherlands. Rinska Duna Dauna is from the Netherlands. Uh, Linda, how long have I been painting? Um, I started painting in um, like September or so of 2018. And I started my YouTube channel in um, February of 2019, okay? Uh, oh, thanks, Malika. Is, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, thank you, Deb. Um, have I used Deco Art Extreme Sheen paints? I have, and they are fantastic. I have a few videos. They're old videos, not any recent ones, but I definitely have Extreme Sheen videos um, where I've used the Extreme Sheen, and I think they're awesome. I wouldn't use all just extreme sheen in one pour. I'd use regular tube paints and maybe add one or two of the extreme sheen into the mix. Um, they are on the watery side because it is a craft, like a deco art craft paint. Um, so I would just add, you know, two paints and maybe one or two of the extreme sheen and do a pour like that. I don't know what Zinzer paint conditioner is. Um, let's see. Thank you, Carol. My old videos. Oh my God, Annette. I, I know I look back at my old videos and I'm like, oh, what was I thinking? Why did I say that? Why did I do that? <laughs> like, I mean, you grow, right? Like, I mean, when I look back to my very, very first Instagram post and I look at the painting I uploaded and I'm like, oh, I love this piece. And I look at it now and I'm like, oh my God, that's horrible. <laughs> but you grow, right? So, you know, the same with the YouTube channel, right? When I look at my earlier pieces, I was like, oh my God. Not that the ones I do now are anything spectacular, but I've definitely changed, that's for sure. Bigger tables, microphones, lighting. So it's definitely a lot different from when I first started. How do you buy from my Amazon store, Lisa? At the bottom of every video is a description box. Click on the description box. So um, I, I explained this in my last video. Um, there's a little upside down triangle in the bottom right hand corner of the video if you're watching from an iPad or a phone. Click on that little gray upside down triangle, then a description box will open up and in there you will see all my you know links for PayPal, Amazon shops, my social media links, everything is in the description box. Okay, discounts for my torch, discounts for the silicone mats by Loli Vefi. Um, discounts for color art, discounts for Arteza, you know, all kinds of discounts all in the description box, okay? Um, have a Jack Russell that needs to go out. Hope to see you soon. Thank you, Emily, for all your help. Um, let's see. Jacqueline, is Etsy the best and easiest way to sell paintings? Do you sell on Facebook also? I do not sell on Facebook. I sell only on Etsy and then I sell paintings from people just emailing me. Um, if I can refrain from putting stuff up on Etsy, um, I would rather not put it up on Etsy because like I said, Etsy takes a cut out of every sale you make. The higher the price, the bigger the cut they take, okay? So it could be 200, like a 300 piece I would sell, they'll take 20, 30 bucks, okay? So it does suck. However, Etsy is a huge platform for people to buy your art, but I don't have problems selling my art um, when people just email me. So if I can sell my art by people emailing me or sending me private messages, 
I would rather do it that way than put stuff up on Etsy, okay? Um, bye, Pam. Let's see. Oh, that's great, Karen. I'm glad you like your low leave Effie mat. That is awesome. And I just got an email from a Melissa regarding prints. She must have been watching my live or maybe she's still watching my live. Um, yep, so check out um, lowleaveffie.com for the silicone mats. You know, the biggest irritation for me is when people will comment on my videos and say, Canela, it's love life, not low leave Effie. And I'm like, I wanna rip my hair out every time someone says that to me because if I'm promoting something, a product, you would think I know the name of the product and the company if I'm gonna be promoting it. Yes, I'm aware it says love life when you read it downwards, but the company name is Loli Veffy, okay? There's a whole reason to why it's called Loli Veffy. It's just, it's Loli Veffy, okay? Not love life. I'm not stupid. I know what it's called, so. When I see that comment, it drives me insane. I just, it drives me nuts, absolutely nuts. Do I have a video on packaging up my canvases to ship to homes? I do not have a video for that because um, I feel like it would be a very boring video. I literally just take tissue paper from the dollar store. I wrap my pieces in tissue paper first, especially like resin varnish pieces, wrap tissue paper first, Wrap bubble wrap. Do never, ever, ever put bubble wrap on varnish or resin pieces, okay? It will leave imprints of the little bubbles from the bubble wrap on your pieces. Wrap with tissue paper first. Yes, you can use parchment paper or in, like, I don't, why? Why waste money on parchment and wax paper and all that kind of stuff? Go to the dollar store and buy tissue paper. It's stupendously cheap, okay? Wrap your piece up with tissue paper, then wrap it up with bubble wrap, put it in a box and put some either newspaper or flyers or whatever, tuck it into any spots that have holes, tape it up, ship it out. It's really straightforward. Um, is this piece resin? Yes, all my pieces are resin. Can you see the shine? Shine. Uh, yeah, so they, they do have a coat of resin on them. These are my trinket boxes, okay? resin and it's perfect okay uh where are we um just popped on when did you start i started at 3 30 so i'm gonna be saying bye soon because it's been like over an hour um canela's getting snarky you know me i'm always telling people how it is i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything um, you know, it, it's just how I am, you know, I'm still getting the occasional, tr you know, bad comments saying, oh, I talk too much and, you know, all that stuff. When people say that stuff on my channel, I just delete them and block them and be done with it. So yes, Kelly, I do, um, the pizza boxes, uh, I do pack them in pizza boxes. They're the greatest boxes for sending stuff out. Um... Where are we at? Do I use house paint for my base paint at all? No, never. Um, I do not use house paint for any of my Dutch pours. The only time I use house paint is when I'm doing the bloom technique by Shelly. Shelly Carruthers, the bloom technique. That's the only time I use house paint. Oh, more emails are coming through. Let's see. My channel, my rules. Isn't that right? That is so true. Wiggy, I think, we Wiggy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you, Alexandra. How do I keep resin from falling off the top edges of the piece? Um, they always fall off the sides. I tape um, everything, and then when I put the resin on, it always drips off the sides always, always, and then just peel the tape off and the resin comes off the sides. Um, I have videos on how I tape stuff, how I resin stuff, and then how I take the tape off of my pieces. Um, there are videos of that. So check out 
really old videos. I think it's like at the beginning days, I have videos like that. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? So I'm gonna get going soon. Um, what brand of tape do I use? It's dollar store tape. Um, oh, low battery on my phone. See, that's an indication that I need to get going. Um, so I just buy green tape, green painter's tape from the dollar store. Um, and it works perfectly fine for me. I do not spend oodles of money on 3M or all the expensive brand paint, uh, tapes. Okay. But the resin comes off the sides and it looks unfinished in those pieces. I'm not sure what you mean. You mean these pieces, they look unfinished? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, Roxy for YouTube, I'm not sure what you're, what you mean. Oh, I wish I could be part of Amazon UK. I would have to look into that. Um, yeah, I'd have to look into that. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll look into that now that I have so much free time on my hands. <laughs> okay. Bye, Ken. All right. So I think I'm going to end it here. We're at 76 minutes. Wow. See, time flies when you're having fun. Okay. So don't forget, um, you know, check out my, you know, if you want a canisters, remember canisters or um, trinket boxes or any of, holy cow, any of my prints, lots of prints, okay? And the calendar, okay? If you want the uh, calendar, um, please email me, canelaseraco at gmail.com. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in anything I showed you guys today, please let me know. Um, thank you very much, DL Tyler, for your help being a new moderator. Thank you so much. Um, I ship worldwide, okay? I ship wherever you want me to ship, as long as you're willing to pay the shipping charges. Bye, Petra. Thank you for answering questions as well while you've been in here. Um, so yeah, I will ship wherever you want. You just got to pay the shipping. So if you're willing to pay the shipping, I'll ship it to you. Okay. Um, who wants to see Juno? Maybe we'll give a little shot of Juno before I head out. What do you use to apply your liquid text? Uh, Sandy, check out video number, um, 130 for a full tutorial on varnishing. All right. I'm going to take my phone off the tripod and I will find Juno for you guys. All right. Uh, okay, let's go find Juno. I think he's hanging out outside. Oh, there he is. Let's see, I can flip this, can't I? Yes, I can. Look at him. He's hanging out, basking in the sun. <laughs> I don't know what happened. 